This presentation will include information on basic statistics. We will explore how to find the following statistical values, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, z-scores, and p-values. To illustrate these basic statistical topics of interest, we have created an example. The company ChemStats 101 Inc. produces two compounds for the pharmaceutical industry, Wikibolf, abbreviated for brevity in this PowerPoint as WW, and polyhydrogen delta oxyfluoroawesome, abbreviated as PHDOFA. The target concentration of product in these two compounds is 4 molar and 1.5 molar, respectively. OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, will not allow WW to be distributed if the concentration falls more than two standard deviations from the target production. Similarly, PHDOFA cannot, be, cannot fall more than one standard deviation from the target production, according to OSHA regulations. Thus, statistical analysis must be performed on 25 batches of each product. Presented here are the 25 concentrations of each batch of product exiting ChemStats. We have used Microsoft Excel to find statistical data for these two data sets. To find the mean, the formula on the right-hand side of the screen can be used. The median is the middle value of the data sets, arranged from least to greatest. And the mode is the most common value in the data set. To find the standard deviation, the formula at the bottom of the screen can be used. To find this value by hand, in Excel, the formula STDEV can be utilized as well. The standard deviation is also useful in finding the weighted average, which is a more accurate representation of the mean when the error associated with each mean is different and known. The z-score, otherwise known as a z-value, standard score, or normal score, is the measurement of the divergence of an individual experimental result from the most probable result. These scores ensure ChemStat engineers that a certain percentage of experimental results are within a designated confidence interval, for example, our OSHA re regulations. Z-scores are used when there is a large sample size and random testing of a product. Therefore, we have calculated the Z-scores of each product to see what batches of WW and PHDOFA fall outside the acceptable range, evaluated using the formula in the bottom of the screen. A p-value is a value between 0 and 1, that describes how much evidence there is against a null hypothesis. When the p-value is close to zero, the null hypothesis is false. To calculate the p-value, first find the z-score and then refer to the standard normal table, linked to in the wiki article, to find the corresponding p-value. The p-value table is located on the bottom of this screen. If our z-value was 0.14, for instance, we would follow the first column down to 0.1 and then over to 0.04, reflecting 0.14. The red highlighted value corresponds to the p-value for the specific z-value of 